Hi guys, I'm Dr. Carrie. Welcome to Vet Ranch Roundup. If this is your first time joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you fall down the rabbit hole and watch all of our videos, especially if you love animal content, rescue stories, and for the most part, happy endings. Now, you might have seen this. If you don't know who this is, this is Vivian. You should check out a couple playlists, that way you can get caught up and you can see when we first got Vivian and how she came to be in our lives as well. This is her song. Baby, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. I just love your flashy ways. This is why you're broken, they're so... Comment and tell me what that last word is or I'm gonna go crazy. This is why they're broke and you're so paid. She doesn't care right now. She's just mesmerized by the light. Anyway, I'm sure we have a lot to do this week. Like any good doctor of animals or people or anything, I don't know what's on the agenda, but I just listen to my nurses or technicians or assistants and I just do what they tell me. So let's go check in with them and just get this week started. <laughs> Beasley! So now she's just chilling. Why is her face like that? Oh, no, she's digging at the dirt. Bleeding. What's happening? She needs a dental. She's like, well, I better get. Alright, well, well, I didn't she like can't it. Go anymore. That stool holds her back. How did <laughs> Beasley? Bees. Beeses. Beasley. Beasley. The second part of your heartworm treatment. Wait to get that over with. Yeah. <laughs> you stand up. She said, I don't want to do this today. Okay, we're going to inject today and tomorrow, and then that will be it. Why are you such a good dog? <laughs> Somebody come and adopt this girl. What she was just doing, that's what she just wants to do at your house for the rest of her life. Maybe in the back door. Oh, yeah, she does love outside. Love sunbathing. She loves outside. Day two. We're gonna pre-med Beasley with Benadryl. A Benadryl injection and 15 minutes later give her her last. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. We have to handle her like a little sheep because she doesn't like to be leashed. She's a gentle. Yeah, well, we're getting there. She also needs to be spayed, but she's heartworm positive. I bet she's spayed. Poor baby. So cute. In the muscle. Intramuscularly. Intramuscular. In the muscle. Don't oh, say so we didn't teach you things. <laughs> I call gauze an active, so. And fluid's liquid. Oh, Can gosh. we get some liquid under the skin? Oh, oh, gosh, we just paralyzed her with her Benadryl injection. Right, let's put you on your post. Yesterday she stayed tied to that little stool for like three hours. hours just asleep. Like, well, I guess I'm stuck here. So I'll take just a little. She yeah. likes zero pressure on her neck. Hey, you see him now? Okay. She's like, now. Very open. Good job. Best patient ever. Hey, you don't want him to play with you? Nope. She's not interested. Mm -hmm. Well, we went back and forth about this little mass that's on Bowie on his incision site. So you can see this is his incision here. The radiographs, I will show you those. All right, here are the radiographs for Bowie. His fractures healed so amazing. It's awesome. This is the callus that's are still smoothing out. Oh my gosh, Vivian's gonna be obnoxious. Ignore the screaming Amazon. This is the screw that's a little bit, um, oh, I can't see it that well. It's this one here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one's backed out a tiny bit, but it's not causing him any issue. At first we thought that's what the, the swelling was related to, but here's the swelling that you see, and it has this mineral deposit in there. So we will see what the lab says. 
I don't know why I had to sing it. Anyways, I love looking at these because it's just amazing how far he's come. You can feel that little place where that pin is a little backed out or that screw, but it's not causing him any lameness. It's not an issue and it's not backed out you know, enough to be a problem. So we're gonna leave that. But this is just kind of a weird little growth and it had calcium like deposits in it when I aspirated it. So we're just gonna remove it and send it to the lab. It may just be like a suture reaction for all we know. It just feels so firm. We're gonna try to get as much off as we can, especially because boxers just do weird things like with mast cell tumors and stuff. So that being said, I'll quit squishing it, but let's go ahead and remove it and we'll send it to the lab. Looking good. All right, Mr. Bowie. Now you get to be, sorry, buddy. Handsome and pink. Good boy. Good job, Bowie. Good boy. Looks like a toad. Yeah. Looks like a toad. Oh my God, he's obnoxious. <laughs> boy. You don't live here forever. No. Well, well. <laughs> Do you even know that that made it in or is it just lost in a lip somewhere? It's not even swallowing. No. Call your doctor. I'm scared. You're going to mess this up. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit of swelling. Uh, it looks fine. Just have to keep the collar on him for a couple days because that's no big. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No, we are so cute. Yeah. We should film all that. Here we go. Bowie, 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 one, two, three, here we go. Oh, 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 sorry. Here we go. Oh. Okay, vet ranch tube of the week time. I am going to give you a tip about foraging toys for birds. As you can see, Vivian is working on this little ball that she has to work out. She unplugs all these little pacifiers. She kind of already knows this uh, trick or this foraging toy. I've given it to her one other time, but she plucks out the pacifiers and inside is a tiny sliver of a walnut and then one of her normal Harrison's pellets and then also one of her little beads that she likes and she played with that for a while and let it go, and then also a discarded bell. So all these little things are in there. Ignore the other bird screaming, but that's going to help give her something to do, keep her mind busy, and make her have to work for a little treat instead of just handing her things um, that are gonna make her fatter and not expend any energy. Did you find it? Oh my gosh, she just growled. Look. You missed it. There was a tiny little, it's bigger than that, but there's a walnut in there. Are you that mad at me? Here's a treat, treat. Treat, treat. See? Wasn't lying. Still in there. All right, I went ahead and put a bigger piece in there because I think she might have shredded it. But we'll see. So angry. Well, she got the discarded bell, but not the walnut cracks me up because she doesn't really want to let it go because she does love it. So she tries to hold it under her tongue while she <laughs> goes for other things. And yes, she just got a bath, obviously. <laughs> Ooh, those eyes pinning. Another cool thing about birds is they have control over their pupil dilation. So when you see birds that eyes are going in and out, they're doing that because of a heightened um, state just to help you out. If you see an Amazon doing that, don't put your finger there. They might be heightened good, heightened bad. Regardless, they're definitely more likely to bite if their eyes are really dilating and constricting like that. Right now, she's really interested in working that toy out. So that's making her have like a little heightened state. You're so cute. Here's our new vet ranch puppy named Coco. He was owned by an elderly woman who can no longer take care of this rambunctious beast. But in all actuality, he's 
still a puppy and he was very, very playful and causing some tripping and issues like that. But anyway, we are gonna find the perfect home for him, but first get him updated on all of his vaccines, heartworm tests, and let's make an appointment to get this guy groomed. What do you think? Get your hair cut. Is he still intact? No. He's already neutered? Good. <gasps> Yeah, he just seems like he needs a grooming. Teeth look good. There's a good two first. Aww. His hair yeah. looks like it's a weird, something weird yeah. going on. Maybe he just Maybe needs a good bath. Did he have a, where's, I, he almost seems like he had a harness on his whole life. Mm, he did he really? Have a harness, yeah. Like they just left it, it just rubbed off. It looks like. Cause see, this is a different coat here yeah. versus here. He has a little red harness. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of pink oh, right there. Let's see if Jessica can work her magic and get us a groovy looking man. Mm -hmm. He's brave. He's like, I'm not brave. Nobody can hit a vein. Oh my goodness. I just want to trim that hair right now. Oh, I know. Look at it. first came in but it's been not a real concern first concern was saving your life right What we suspected demodex mites on Sydney and Billy. You can see their little legs moving and they're shaped like that long caterpillar cigar because they live down in the hair follicles. And what I was mentioning was that they probably have demodex because they have a lowered immune system, having parvo, having intestinal parasites. So we should be able to treat that with their monthly Symperica Trio. Um, if we need to add other medications, we will, but. Oh 
Oh, look! He's here to go see Dr. Judd. But now he's happy. With his stiff stuff. <laughs> Why do you have to look perpetually ticked off? I know! Read the cake! <laughs> well guys that's gonna wrap it up for me this week thank you so much for coming to hang out with us um without you we could not do what we do thank you for your donations i'm gonna get walter because if not he's gonna drive you guys crazy mostly me but i'll see you walter well, Walter and I, let's try again. Walter and I want to tell you guys thank you so much. And we will see you on our next installment of Vet Ranch Roundup. Um, he peed on me a little bit because he pees when he gets nervous. So I'm going to go change my pants. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot to mention, you might have heard during the show, there's an awesome song on there called Machu Girl. And it's from Dustin Ruth because his newest tracks are out. So I'm going to link that here so you guys can uh, take a listen. It's phenomenal music and again we want to thank him so much for letting us use Rose to Deer for all these years and without further ado let's cue that song too bye guys sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you bye, are Chris. frightened you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong but I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too Just a fool for you, girl.